Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great today. So, uh, gosh. So there's something that I've been meaning to get off my chest and I feel like if I don't, I'm not gonna be a happy man, you know? Years ago, on my first trip to Nigeria from the US after film school, I visited a good friend, brother, and colleague somewhere in Festac Town, a very, very popular Nollywood actor. You all know him, but I don't want to mention his name. I visited him. I will never forget what this guy told me on that visit. It's all beginning to make sense now with this whole news all over the place about Nollywood. You see, Nollywood has been in the news lately for all the bad reasons. And it's not right that we all keep quiet and feel like this is what Nollywood has always been. No, it's not. And I'm going to explain it to you. This man told me, he said, Joe, I am troubled because they have invaded our industry and they are going to bring this industry down. I say, who? He said, prostitutes are pouring into Nollywood and using the industry as a cover for their craft. Immediately he said that and I, I said to him, do you know that while I was in the US, I was hearing the same thing. I heard how that these girls in Lagos, mostly in Asaba, would get on a movie set and pay the directors to play roles that they are not even qualified to play by every standard. And beyond that, they even pay for their faces to come on the posters. This was happening and everybody saw it. So eventually, Nollywood was overrun by prostitutes, highway girls who had no business being in the industry in the first place. I know this industry too well. I remember the good old days in Nollywood. I remember how we all labored and suffered and sacrificed almost everything to get to where we are today. I remember when we would walk for miles trying to get to an audition venue and do it several days and yet the movie would not come and we would still just dust our butts and say, well, that's fine and move to the next one. I remember all the stuff we did because we were passionate and we still are passionate about what we do because the love of the craft sustained us. We were not there necessarily to make money. We were not there necessarily for even the fame. You could tell that we were all passionate. We loved and still do love this job. But then using a biblical terminology while we were all sleeping the enemy showed up and sowed tars in the field and today these same girls whose profession originally is prostitution on different levels are now in Nollywood using Instagram to popularize themselves. And so whatever it is they do, everybody would say, oh, that's Nollywood. And because they have become so popular on Instagram, even the original organically grown actors from Nollywood began to take cues from them, started emulating their evil ways, showing off things that you don't own, making people who work hard every day to earn their living look stupid. We know you. This is not the industry that we all started many years ago. Our first audition was in 1996. Billionaires are saints. I told Jodu Berger. Hint Magazine office. My first movie was in 1997. It was Rituals by Ken Nebwe. Do the math. Do the calculation. And tell me how long it's been. I'm going to ask you who is reading all this nonsense about Nollywood today. Please be honest with yourself. Back in the days when we were passionate about this job. 
before the enemy flooded the industry to use our industry to market themselves to politicians and to charlatans before they came in have you read the kind of stuff you're reading today about nollywood from nollywood how many times did you read about scandals in nollywood back in the days if not today because the enemy had come from the back door and so tars in our midst and nollywood now looks like a prostitution a gigantic prostitution ring a pimping ground in the beginning was not so it was not so that's what we have seen today that's why all this news are coming out every this is why many people are missing nollywood have you not noticed that they are now beginning to take all those old movie titles and remaking them again today have you not noticed that most people still prefer to watch what we did many years ago to what they are doing today because the stuff they are doing today is only used to mark Get all those butt jobs that they have done. Fake butt, fake breast, fake personality, fake body, fake every, every rubbish they've done. They use these movies to market it. So that's why people are not interested in the movies anymore. Thank God for New Nollywood that now gives movie producers and filmmakers the opportunity to spend good money and do quality movies. If this new Nollywood didn't come, if there was no Netflix and Amazon Prime and the rest of it, where would we have been? What could we have given to the generations unborn? Making nonsense movies just to market individuals. Girls who are selling themselves to politicians in Abuja. Now they have influenced the good old actors, the originals, the professionals who went through hell who all of us went through hell to get to where we are today. You've influenced them. I mean, who would have thought that Nollywood would be dealing with this kind of stuff today? I know our industry has never been perfect, just like in every other industry, the corporate world, the banking industry, everywhere. There, there's no place where you won't see corruption. But then look at what Nollywood has degenerated into dirty looking stinking things that have no value no sense of value they have nothing these girls are nobodies they are influencing you because of instagram followership who freaking cares if you follow me on instagram i know that i am a star not just a star a mega star in the sight of God and in the sight of man. I have won souls for God. I win souls for God every day. In real time. That makes me a star in the sight of God. I'm also a mega star in the sight of man. Because I try my best to live right. I'm not perfect, but I try my best to live right. I pity the originals who follow the facts. To do the nonsense they do. You are going to be like fish out of water. Because their natural habitat is, is the dunghill. Is the gutter. I can't go with a pig into the gutter. Because the gutter is everywhere. Choose your role models, man. Be careful who you call a role model. Be careful who you call a mentor. Be careful. Because social media has no capacity to tell you who a mentor is. Let the Spirit of God give you discernment. Discernment to know exactly who you should call your mentor or who you should call your spiritual father or who you should call whatever it is you want to call them. They're making it difficult for us to come out there and say, oh, I'm an actor. So difficult. It's a shame. It's a bloody shame. Go to every home in Africa, not just Nigeria. Go to every African country. Nollywood is there. They watch us every day, minute by minute. And you people want to destroy the industry with your waywardness. It will not happen. Thank God for what he has started doing. And hopefully, the rest of us who have not fallen victim will take a cue from all that is happening now and amend their ways. God bless you.